Okay, in this video we're going to be taking a look at the uh, environments of MAP software and what those different environments uh, entail for your use of MAP software depending on your assembly and, and the different ECD products you may be using. Uh, of course, when you install MAP software, it's uh, going to ask you which environments you'd like to have active and uh, a lot of people will just pick uh, the basic profiling environment and if they have any specific ECD product uh, like an oven writer palette they may pick that um, but the different environments which show up here with their icons on the left hand side of map software uh, can be activated or deactivated by going to the file menu and selecting preferences and then we're going to select the miscellaneous tab on the right hand side and you can turn on or off the uh, various environments that MAP software offers. And you, you may be asking yourself, well, what exactly is an environment? And it's easy to think of an environment as a working directory where uh, your files are, are aggregated and, and stored. Um, if, just for example here, the uh, spreadsheet tab of the map software keeps track of each uh, download from your profiler and these are unique for each environment that you use um, the oven writer uh, environment is going to have a, a different set of downloads uh, from a profiler and even the the summary tab how that's presented as well as the different templates uh, that are included uh, for display there of, of, of your data um, depend on the environment that you're using. So it's really more than just a working directory and it's um, it's how the software is presented to you based off the industry that you're that you're in and also um, the ECD products that you may be using. And so just for example here if I go back to my preferences and say I have a uh, minimal uh, humidity measurement device from ECD and we want to turn on that environment that will uh, dynamically just update our list on the left hand side here and you can see the product on on the welcome page uh, when you launch map software and so uh, just to start off here I'm gonna hop over to the basic profiling environment this is one that you would want to use uh, if you're using uh, just regular thermal couples to measure an assembly and whether that's a you know a computer board or um, just really any other uh, type of product that you're you're producing where you're using uh, regular thermal couples attached to uh, the product and so it does have um, it's just a basic standard uh, temperature slope uh, time between temperature which is this is kind of uh, this template here is angled towards reflow profiling in the electronics industry and the uh, basic profiling we can click this target 10 tab at the bottom and this will uh, provide us our specifications for these uh, initial slope times uh, the time between temperatures the soak and the um, the liquidus and so you can set those specifications in this tab of, of the basic profiling environment but you can also just use it as um, with the KPI tab basically where it's going to analyze your data just the the thermal data that you've downloaded and so if you have a, a very specific product say like an oven rider palette where it's it's really keeping an eye on the convection uh, rates of your oven and that type of thing uh, you'll definitely want to use the oven writer environment because it's going to have some unique identifiers there if we hop over to the profile tab of an oven writer environment uh, you can see that our six channels are listed as ambient temperatures and process temperatures and these uh, process temperatures here are actually the sensor that's on the palette and so um, it's very specific to the oven writer palette and uh, keeping an eye on your oven and so if we click the oven writer tab um, 
which is unique in this environment. It's going to show you starting temperatures and peak average temperatures across uh, the zones of your oven. And so it's really meant to, um, to be used with that palette only and also, uh, you know, just for um, oven evaluation, basically. And so uh, you may have something a little bit different, like a Wave Rider palette. If you're doing uh, Wave Solder, uh, you're definitely going to want to use that specific environment. And if we click over and we see a Wave Rider palette here in this environment, the Wave Rider tab of our profile plot uh, displays information for the chip wave, the, the actual main solder wave, and uh, dwell times, and, and that type of thing. So very useful for um, wave soldering. And uh, as I was saying earlier, of course, you know, MAP software is designed for a multitude of industries and, and products, and um, that's why it's very important to select the, the correct environment to use uh, to get the most out of your data. And so just for example, if we uh, go to the other end of the spectrum here and say uh, we're baking bread and we're in a, you know, a commercial bakery, we can pop over to our breadometer environment, which is this uh, breadometer is a handy little device that has five thermocouples inserted into the probe uh, to measure your, your different areas of, of the loaf or bun that you're, uh, that you're baking, as well as an ambient, um, ambient thermocouple there. And the really nice thing about the breadometer tab is it's going to keep track of things um, like your, your starting temperature, your yeast kill, where in this what we call a baking S curve, where uh, you reach 60% of the max there. Uh, gelatinization and, and other baking terms. And so it's really uh, specified towards that industry. And um, that's, that's one that you would want to use if you're a baker and, and you had a breadometer, of course. And so um, just to recap here, um, if we click the file menu and preferences on the miscellaneous tab, we can select our different environments that are active and show up on the left hand side in map software. And um, this should should help you determine um, the best way forward for for your assembly.